Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's really so highly here. And yeah, welcome here if you're new. Welcome darling and welcome back if you've been a bad here. I really do appreciate your support. And yeah, please do subscribe if you're new. Subscribe, like, comment, please do share. I feel like it's, you know, my videos are educational, I think so. But yeah, uh, please do subscribe. Takes nothing, bona. You won't pay anything, so please do subscribe. And yeah, oh, okay, as you can see by the title of the video, today I'll be talking about basically the reality of being a young mom, a young wife. If you know or if you don't know, for those who don't know, basically I got married at 18 and then the following year, literally like at February, I gave birth to my firstborn. So yeah, like I've been in this thing. <laughs> So, and then now I have my second baby, which I gave birth to last year, November. So, yeah, it was a, like a 202 situation. But, yeah, and I gave birth to my second baby when I was 21. So, you can just imagine, right? So, basically, like, a lot of people say that I... Like, basically, I don't know if I should say my brand or who I am. I don't know, like, it's like everything that revolves around me. Is about marriage, my children, my family and all of that. And yes it is because I mean I feel like I I didn't have like basically I don't have an experience of being independent. Not financially, but you know, like obviously when I came out of my parents' house I moved straight in with my husband because I was eighteen, right? So it's not like I went to varsity and all of that and I got to stay alone. No, I've never stayed alone in my life. So that kind of independency. So yeah, not financially. And yeah, financially we can also say that, but yeah, it's a different kind of story. Yeah. So I, you know, there's literally nothing around me. All that is me is basically my marriage, my family. Hence, I talk about that a lot because that is what god has given me at this moment and i feel like that is what i'll be embracing that is literally who i am and you know some people have said or have asked me you know like don't you feel like you've lost yourself and you know yeah just always about marriage like we never get to hear something about you and what what and the reality is i do think i have lost uh sorry guys <laughs> it's hot in here i do think that i have lost myself in the journey you know, obviously because there's so many things that I have to do, there's so many things that are occupying my space, so I don't really have time for me, you know, in a sense of like, and what makes it worse is that I don't have friends, right? So it's not like, oh, okay, maybe Friday I'll go out, you know, lunch or something with a friend where I get to like, oh, okay, this is what Tira likes, this is what, what, what. So I would say that I have lost myself in the journey, basically. So it's, and I, I'm not mad about it. I feel like it's normal. And I think I will get the chance for me to, you know, embrace me and, you know, like, you know, go back to things that I would say, like, hey, maybe, like, enjoying or do something. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, it's me, it's me, it's me. Because even now, like, even when I go shopping, I hardly buy things for myself. Like, I've forgotten. Yeah, I feel like that, like, you know, I've forgotten that I actually exist because of so many responsibilities that I have. You know, I'm, I'm occupied, you know, there's no longer just Siri, I'm a mom, it's a mom, 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 <laughs> you know, and a wife, I, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy these roles, but it does sometimes get, oh, like, you know, I need a break, but yeah, like I said, I feel like at this moment, it's what God has blessed me with, and I'm going to embrace it to the fullest, and I'm going to literally just focus on that so that I can give it my all. And like I said, I feel like at some point I will, um, you know, get that place. I'm like, okay, me now, you know. And I think that place will come, you know, as you know, the kids are growing, they're growing every day. Once they are probably in high school and they don't really depend on me a lot. I think that's when I'll, yeah, you know, get to have, I, I always tell my husband, like, I feel like when I turn 30, that's when I'll be able to, you know, focus on me, like, me this, me that, me that, there's no baby who's, you know, and obviously now, also, like, our marriage, um, I, I, I enjoy being a wife, you know, without the kids, I'd like the whole wife thing, 
yeah, it's it's you know, I want to be with my partner 24 7. I want to get into his skin, you know, that's how much I enjoy it. And I'm not saying that everything is perfect, no, you know, yeah, we do have our ups and downs as we did also in our relationship before we got married. But yeah, that's just one role that I enjoy so much. Yeah, motherhood, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, now with two babies, it's it's a lot. But you know, I bless God for the gift of motherhood because there are people that are struggling to struggling to have kids, and you know, I was one of the blessed ones where I didn't have to struggle at all. They were not planned. <laughs> Yeah, God just decided to put people into our lives and, you know, we didn't ask for it at that moment. But it happened and I'm grateful because I know there's a lot of women crying out there to have kids and they cannot. So I'm one of the blessed ones, so I do not take it for granted. Yes, it's not easy, but it's going to pass, okay? They're going to grow up, they're going to be independent. Like I'm saying, when they get to high school, they won't have to depend on me, even if me and my husband decide to go anywhere for a week. I know it won't be a stress, they can cook for themselves, they can, you know, prepare themselves to go to school, it won't be a lot of work. So I definitely cannot wait for those moments, I can't wait. <laughs> for me and me to say, ah, you know, we feel like going, let's just go now, there's a lot of moments, we're like, yo, we miss movies so much, because, yeah, obviously the little one is small and there's no one that can look after him. So some of these things are probably going to do them after two years. You know, us going out how we like and all of that. With Judah, it was a bit easy as you started going to crash because, you know, during the days it goes to crash, we can do fit in, you know, our dating and, you know, doing anything, going on dates, movies, and yeah, fun stuff. But now that there's a little one, we can't really do that. We are always home, like, yeah, like 98% of the time. Yeah, but I know that it's gonna pass, and yeah, we're gonna get our. Life is back together, I think. I think now we're just focusing on our kids. Just, you know, making sure that they grow up and they have everything they need. And, you know, and it's not that I'm not building myself, me saying that I'm focusing on my kids. And, you know, uh, I am growing. I've grown a lot. <laughs> I've grown a lot in a lot of things. My mentality has changed a lot. And, you know, I feel like I'm improving each and every day. Yeah, just that I don't have my time or my space. So, yeah, and I feel like in terms of my personality, I think I have lost Tire a little bit, you know. Uh, like I said, because of motherhood, I think that's the biggest thing. Motherhood literally changed me. And like I said, I don't have any friends. So there's no place where I can, you know, put out my personality that much where I'm like, whew, okay yeah so yeah and not that you know things are horrible or you no know, mm -mm. everything is fine we're happy at home um at this point i'm just talking about me right so yeah that's just how it is and i will get my time to you know where i'll have things surrounding me except being a mother and a wife you know i'm not gonna divorce no i'll still be with my husband but i feel like without the kids i could have uh you know there could have been some things that are occupying me, which is like me, 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 this, I'm doing that, I'm doing that, without being a mother. So, yeah, that's just the reality. And, yeah, you know, it does get hard sometimes, you know, the part of, you know, having to cook, you know, I'm the one who have to, like, you know, be creative and think, okay, I need to make sure that everyone needs to eat today. That responsibility, you know, I enjoy it sometimes, but sometimes it does get a lot that I'm responsible for everyone's stomach in this house. I need to make sure that they've eaten breakfast, lunch, and supper. And, you know, and thank God that I do have a husband that is, you know, like, you don't have to cook everything and all of those things. So most of the time I cook when I, you know, when I feel like it, you know. Even sometimes, like, when I don't feel like it, I mean, we know in this economy, things are quite hard, so it's not like you can eat, take away every day. But, you know, here and there I do... Uh, kind of like oh, okay today at least I don't have to cook right so yeah that is a bit it's huge on me but yeah I feel like it's the reality and that's just how things are but I know that they are gonna pass time is going by so fast yeah the same thing about 22 very soon I'll be 30 yeah yeah when I'm 30 you guys must come back here you guys are gonna see but <laughs> but yeah anyway yeah those type of things you know and having a toddler it's not a child's play 
when he comes back from the catch, mama, mama, this, mama, 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 mama. It's, it's a lot, but like I said, it is gonna pass. And you know, I do enjoy such moments. Sometimes just like, oh, you know, I wanna be in my own bubble and I actually can't because there's someone who's waiting on me. <laughs> You know, either the little one and worse that we actually work from home. Not worse, I think it's actually a blessing in disguise that we work from home. So the little one, um, obviously when my husband is working, I'm with him. And most of the time he's sleeping, right? So, yeah, but now it's, I think it's starting to go a little bit, you know, so he doesn't want to sleep as much now. He just wants so much attention, but yeah, <laughs> I enjoy it. So, you know, when he's done working, he does come that side and help me, you know. Yeah, that little boy loves his father. When he's his father, the smiles. So, yeah, he even makes him sleep and all that. And the whole wife thing, it's not that... Like, I don't feel a lot of weight on my shoulders, me having to be a wife. Because, you know, my husband helps me with a lot of stuff, like things in the house. You know, when I've cooked, he does wash the dishes and the cleaning. You know, sometimes he'll just wake up and decide to clean and I don't have to do that, you know. And then when it comes to the laundry, yeah, I'll wash, then he'll go, you know, put it down, like again, hang it, basically, yeah. So I don't really feel, you know, like, oh, I'm tired, I'm tired. No, 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 I like it. Because wife hood, guys, I like it. This motherhood is the one that is a bit, you know, they got thinking. But yeah, nevertheless, we're here and... You know, I at one point in my life, I did want to have kids. Not this quick. I didn't think that, yeah, I didn't think that things are going to go by. Like, yeah, me having kids at, yeah, the age of 21, I already have two kids. It's not something I planned, but, you know, if that's what God planned with my life, I guess here it is, you know. And, yeah, it's a blessing overall. Even if it's hard, it's a blessing. I know that, you know, when I'm 30, there's guys will be yeah i think they will be in high school at the time i turn 30 and they'll be off me i'll be free basically all we just have to do is just provide for them food and school fees and all that when they want money just give it to them then they're out of our faces okay so i definitely cannot wait for those moments i i, I can't wait yeah baby boys if you guys are gonna watch this video yeah you guys are in trouble like yo yo <laughs> So I'm glad that you, you guys actually grown up because oh, wow, wow, yeah. And in terms of having more kids, I don't think we're gonna have more. Uh, yeah, but that's a topic of another day. But yeah, so basically, uh, oh, I also saw someone saying that I look like someone who's got it all together. Also, me because like, oh, you know what? I'm married at such a young age. You know, I won't have to be searching or going through the whole dating jolly thing where people are going to be breaking my heart and all that but yeah no i don't have it all together <laughs> it might look like it that's the only wrong thing about social media because i feel like they give you a you don't really give you the good side obviously no one wants to put their bad sides or their bad days on the internet but i don't have it all together you know we do have some you know ups and downs but i'm glad and I feel so blessed that I don't have to go through the whole dating thing of, you know, yeah, in my 20s, boys are just all over me. And yeah, yeah I feel very blessed. And yeah, I, it's something that I actually thank God for that I got to meet my husband at a very young age. And he kept his promise. He actually married me. So I am, it's something that I'm, I'll forever be grateful for, that I don't have to go through a lot of stuff. You know, some people like to say, hey, well, I'm experience, you know. You go through that and that, and some people actually judge me they're like, yo, Terry, you've never played, you know, and sexually, I mean, and people like, you've never played, you know, that's the only man that you've been with. And I'm like, darling, that's the biggest blessing. I'm not judging you, okay? Yeah, I'm not judging you. But to me, I feel like that's the biggest blessing, me having to be married to the guy that, you know, took my virginity, TMI. But anyway, yeah. I, I feel so blessed and I feel like God saved me from a lot of things. You know, there are a lot of girls that their boyfriends, they kill them. There's abuse and yeah, and I bless God that I didn't have to go through that just for me to find my husband. So I, I am very, 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 very grateful. So, you know, and some people like, you know, here you will regret it at some point. You'll feel like this, this husband of yours to your youth, you never had your youth. And to be honest, what I think that 
skin something that i think that actually took my youth i'd say to the kids yeah but my husband shum darling and no he did not he did not take my youth i feel like i actually want to experience everything with him you know if i was going to get into the lifestyle of going to you know clubs and what 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 i want to do it with him i want to go there with him besides feeling safe and all that but i feel like a lot of things i do want to experience it with him and we could be experiencing a lot of things together you know going this and there and before we got married we wanted to like travel a lot before we actually have kids but things you know went the other way so i feel like we'll you know we will we'll get back to that thing of us wanting to do a lot of things you know once the kids are all grown up now and they can stay on their own but yeah overall shame guys I man i'm happy like i said i feel like this is what god has called me for in this moment in this time and that is what i'm going to do i'm going to focus on that and i'm going to give it my all until god brings in another chapter in my life to say like okay now you have done what i asked you to do I've, you know the kids are all grown up i've done my job right and yeah he'll present another opportunity something you know either career wise or what but i don't think i want to go into that lane but yeah the whatever god will see fit at that moment in my life that's that is what i'll be embracing so at this point i'm happy i'm so content in my life i can have a that i cannot stress regarding my life i love it you know and i feel like in everything even if i was gonna you know go to varsity and be this career woman i was gonna face troubles and you know this and that so nothing is smooth in life right so yeah that's just how i feel and so guys this is what you guys are going to be getting from me because this is who i am at this point in my life and if i get to you know change and something else occupies my life that is what you guys are going to get when like in terms of content from me so for now you guys better enjoy the whole you know merit thing and when it comes to like motherhood content there yeah it's it's a lot i don't <laughs> i don't think i can do a lot yes i can do you know sit down videos and tell you guys you know this or that or that but in terms of like vlogs and all that it's it's a little trick i don't think i'm ready for you know in the morning when i have to wake up i need to set up a camera prepare it's a lot guys i don't think i can do that yeah for now it's just something that i there, there's no time you know the other time i posted on my instagram that like 24 hours it's so small to us like it, it, it's so small i need like 50 hours a day because there's a lot to do so yeah i'm really sorry that i cannot give you guys vlogs and all that but yeah it's just not something that i can do at this point in time in my life and i hope that i will be able to do vlogs in the future very soon fingers crossed i hope uh but yeah for now please do enjoy what i'm able to give you you know and at this time i'm trying so much to be consistent in posting and like i said so if you have any video ideas except vlogs please do tell me any topics i can literally get on it yeah so basically today is a small short video we're not talking a lot i was just informing you guys but yeah i hope that you did enjoy this video and yeah it's 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 so short from what i normally post but yeah i just wanted you guys to get to understand me and the life that i'm living right now and yeah i hope that we will all grow together this channel and i'm seeing that we're growing so much we're almost at a thousand subscribers which i'm so excited for so please do subscribe okay if you're watching this please do subscribe and like and comment and share so we can have a conversation down there in the comment section i want us to interact a lot so if you have a question about something that i just said please do ask me and i will respond to you asap okay and please do follow me on my instagram most of the time i put like q a's there and all of that so we can get to interact so yeah, I love you guys and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.